Well, hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Emmaus. Oh, I forgot. Usually Hannah says like, and I'm Hannah. Uh, but she's not in this video today. But today I want to go ahead and talk about how to increase your productivity and your efficiency, whether you work from home, whether you have a typical job, you're in ministry, hopefully whatever um, type of job you have, these tips can apply and help you be more productive. So the first thing I do whenever I wake up every day is I try my best to prioritize spending time with God. Even if it's just 10 or 15 minutes, but I try to make an effort to spend time with God as many days a week as I can. It's more important to me than my relationship with Hannah, than the type of work I do, than our church, anything that my relationship with God comes before any of that. So I try to make it a priority. Now, once I have time with God, I'll come back here to my office and it's very technical. It's just a pad of paper. What I do is I get a pen and I write down on this piece of paper, what are some things that I need to accomplish today? And I'll put the time beside any time sensitive things. So for example, if I need to edit a wedding video, I'll write that down. If I have a phone call at 11 a.m., I'll write phone call with client and I'll actually put 11 a.m. to the side and I'll just keep on going down the list. And then I'll look at what is everything that needs to get done that day I keep, um, I keep an eye out for the time sensitive ones and then I prioritize the rest, which ones absolutely must have to get done today. And then which ones are wants, which ones will be nice to get done today. And then once I do that, I go ahead and start with task number one. But before I do that, something incredibly important I do that has honestly changed the way I work is I turn on do not disturb. Now, some people are like, no, you have to get texts from people or you have to know what someone comments on your post. And for me, I've just made a choice where I don't really care who follows me on social media, who comments, who likes stuff. And it's to the point where I don't need to know every time someone likes comments or does anything like that. And whenever I'm working, I don't even want to be notified of text or phone calls or, or anything like that because I will catch up with those later. And some people are like, well, Mayus, that's just so cold and that's just like a workaholic. And I'm going to put this out here. I don't want to be a workaholic. I have seen men... Who have, um, who have hurt their relationship with their wives or their kids over working so much. And I constantly have to tell Hannah, let me know if I'm working too much and if I'm being a workaholic because I never want um, to, be, to be a person um, who is a workaholic. But what I do is I want to be extremely productive in the hours that I'm, that I'm in my, I guess, best shape to be the momentum zone of the day so that whenever Hannah comes home later that evening, I can spend time with her. Because for those of you who have had the chance to meet Hannah, you know that any time you spend with her is like just blessed time. She's incredible to be around. So whenever she's here, I want to spend as much time with her as possible and not doing work whenever she comes home. So what I tell her is, Hannah, whenever I'm at work, I want to be 100% at work. I want to be so focused. I don't want to answer text or phone calls unless it's an emergency. You can call and I'll bypass Do Not Disturb. But besides that, I need to focus on the work. I want to be 100% present in my office. And whenever you come home, I want to be 100% present with you. Whenever I'm having lunch with a friend, I want to be 100% present there. Whenever I'm at church, I want to, come, want to be completely present there. And you get the recurring theme. I want to be completely engaged in whatever I am currently doing. Because I don't want to be someone who's like on a date with Hannah and responding to an email. Uh-huh. Yeah, that sounds really good. Yeah, you're beautiful. Yeah. Because how would that make her feel? That would not make her feel good. And I would get less done. Most likely, I'd probably have typos in the email. I'd be calling someone like, oh yeah, you look beautiful. Can I be trying to talk with Hannah? It'd be really weird. I want to be 100% where I am whenever I'm doing that. The second thing that I do is I use a chess timer. And no, I don't get this because I'm wonderful at chess. I'm actually really not that good at it. I haven't played it since I was a kid. But what's really neat about this chess timer is that whenever you press play, or start, it'll start counting up on this side right here. And I will press start whenever I begin a current task, such as editing a wedding video. And anytime I interrupt that current task, whether that's a text, a phone call, an Instagram or Facebook message, uh, responding to a client, having a phone call with a client, anything like that, I have to flip the button. And it will count up on this side of the timer. And then whenever I'm done with that and go back to my original task, I flip it back. And as you can see, whenever I get to the end of the workday, I will be able to see how much time did I, quote, waste. And I'm not saying it's all like awful. I mean, for example, if I'm taking a phone call that's important, then yes, I will flip it and do that. And I'll say, I don't do this every day. But just on days where honestly, I need a little more help um, staying, on, staying on task. And whenever I get to the end of the day 
And if I have a whole lot left that has to get done that day, Hannah's like, hey, cool, can we spend time together? And I say, oh, sorry, I still need to finish up this wedding edit. And I look, and that says 45 minutes. Then it holds me accountable to know that honestly, I spent some time doing things that I really didn't need to spend time doing that day. So a chess timer is wonderful. And for those of you who work from home, especially, you really need a chess timer because most people have pets just like this guy right here. His name is Patrick. He's honestly like the best cat like ever. He's incredible. Look at him. He's like, what is all this stuff doing in here? Why is like a Rode NTG3 microphone? I'm just joking. He doesn't know what that is. But if you have pets, you honestly need some type of accountability, whether that's do not disturb, whether that's a chest timer or something to keep you on task because pets can be such honestly, a bad distraction whenever you're trying to get a lot done. So whenever I'm working, I'll put on do not disturb. I'll have my chest timer. I'll close my office door. So pets don't come in here and I try to get distracted as few times as possible. So these are just a few ways that really I try to implement in my life to stay on task and be productive and increase my efficiency so I can get a lot done in a short amount of time so that I can really invest in what's important to me, like spending time with Hannah, growing our business, volunteering at church, spending time with friends, and not just being always on my phone or not always responding to emails or DMs or seeing who's following us on social media because I want to be 100% present where I am in that moment. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this video could help. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm not saying I have it all figured out. These are just a few things that, that I learned that worked for me over the years. So make sure you subscribe so you don't have to miss another video. And don't worry, Hannah, we'll be back next time. Thanks, guys.